Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny here and welcome to another episode of The Sick Show. And as always, I'm super pumped to be here and I'm here with my main man, B. How are you, buddy? Yeah, Italiano! <laughs> this week on the show, we interview Ugo Chai, an awesome photographer out of Italy, and find out a little story about the 40 countries he's been to, except the one next door. And he inspires us with an amazing image of the Giant's Causeway and find out how to capture the perfect moonrise in Greece. Awesome, let's get into it. Enjoy. Show. Share, inspire, create.com. Share. Okay, buddy, share something that not many people would know about you. Um, a little f fact that not many people know about me. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an avid traveler. I love traveling. Uh, I do it uh, whenever I can. I'm lucky to to work for a company that has offices uh, all across Europe. So whether it's for business or it's for pleasure, uh, I do some travel. And I've been to around 40 different countries in my wow. in my life. <laughs> so uh, there is one country that is very clear. It's actually one of the countries that border Italy, and that is Slovenia. Uh, it's so close, but I've never been there. And I, I know it's awesome. There are some really great places there, especially in the mountains and the lakes. So if somebody is listening uh, to the show and they're from Slovenia and they want to invite me there, I'd be happy to <laughs> to go. Yeah, yeah sure. awesome. I, I know that feeling. Sometimes the stuff, the things that are in your own backyard are the things you never get to. Yeah. It's, it's always the way, man. Yeah, and if someone wants to invite us from Slovenia to yeah, they, we'll go. They, they're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Uh, we'll, we'll join you, Ugo. Inspire. All right, Ugo, inspire us with some of your amazing images. Uh, so th this image that you are should be seen now uh, is of a place called the Giants Causeway, and that is in Northern Ireland. A and this is a place, it's pretty much unique in its kind. Uh, it's a bizarre geological formation. Uh, it's a whole cliff that is composed of those uh, basalt columns, which have an octagonal shape or hexagonal shape, I don't know, yeah, hexagonal shape, actually. So uh, it's really amazing. It uh, looks like it was made by somebody instead of by nature when it's actually all natural. Now, the, the thing about this spot here is that it's, it's very popular. It's probably one of the most visited locations in the, in the whole United Kingdom. Uh, and so it's very hard to, to go there and, and find it uh, void of people. You cannot take a picture where there isn't somebody on those rocks uh, getting their picture taken or just uh, fooling around, jumping, kids jumping up and down to the steps and so on. So uh, I went there because I was uh, traveling in Ireland at the time and I and I said, I, I want to go there, I want to take some picture, but it was, uh, it, it was full of tourists. So I remembered uh, somebody uh, taught me about this technique some time ago where you can uh, get rid of tourists in, in photos <laughs> of crowded places or get rid of the images of tourists in the photos. No. <laughs> well, I thought you yeah, they, I've heard of that one too. It's a big stick and you chase them off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or you can start crying, there's a bomb, there's a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He runs away. Uh, not a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> The police would come to arrest you, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, let let me share my screen. So I will uh, I will show you what I the situation I, I encountered. So there <laughs> are some tourists there taking a photo, and then uh, what I did was I put the camera on a tripod, yeah. and then I set a self timer. I actually used the intervalometer in the camera, and let it take one photo every. 30 seconds or so for a few mm -hmm. minutes. Right. So I got a sequence. This one where people were, you see, moving up and down. They left objects there. Oh, let's take a group photo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's uh, take a photo up there. Uh, and then more people, somebody taking a selfie, and so on. So, yeah, it was, okay. It was crazy. Yeah. 
what do you do in a situation like that? There is a, you, you set your camera on the tripod, as I said, and you, you take a sequence of photos. If you have an intervalometer, it's easier. You don't have to, to remember to click, but you need a, a remote shutter release in any, in any case. You can even click it manually. Just let one minute pass and click and so on for a, for a few minutes. Yeah. And then you take those photos and you load them up in Photoshop and you use a, a, a script, uh, which is a statistic script, you apply the medium function, and that will uh, get rid of most of the things that move and only keep the things that are uh, stay in place. Hmm. So oh, every, wow. uh, Very good. Yeah, I, I actually yeah. thought. I actually thought I thought actually thought you you were going to say to you were going to blend them with masks and things like that. And uh, I'm really intrigued about this script you go. Is it something that you can get hold of for free on the internet, or is it part of a it's plugin? Part, it's part of photo. It's part of Photoshop. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. You actually do a run script, script uh, and it's called statistics, uh, and then you apply the the median. You choose the median function. Now you 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 oh. could do it with blending, but it would be complicated because you you would have lots of layers and lots of people in different places and so yeah, on. It's, it's yeah, it's a big job. Uh, you, you can automate most of it. Uh, in my case, I still had many images where people were staying more or less in the same place. So the result from the uh, running of the script was still not perfect. Okay. So I took another image and uh, I uh, overlaid okay. that on top of the result there. And then I used blending, I use a layer mask okay. to, to remove some of the people. And I also, uh, when you do that operation and you have uh, uh, the sea or clouds moving in the sky, they will tend to average out. Okay. So oh. the, the, the sea will be a bit fuzzy and blurry and the, the sky too. And if you want it sharp and clean, it looks like a single image, not a long exposure, you can use a layer mask and blend in the sky or the sea from, uh, yeah, from one ones. picture in the stack. So yeah, no, that's interesting. Well done. Yeah, that's an amazing image. Yeah, yeah thanks for that tip too, mate. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's such an awesome thing when you see a place, especially, especially seeing the before and after of all those people there and how you remove them in such a clean landscape image now. And I really love the processing on it. It's uh, yeah, great, mate. Thanks for sharing for that. Yeah, I like the monotone too, the black and white. Very yeah, inspirational. Yeah. yeah. Create. All right, buddy. Show us something you've created. Uh, so the... Um, the thing I wanted to show you was an image of a um, moonrise uh, with uh, the moon rising over an island in the middle of the sea uh, that I took uh, last year while I was vacationing in Greece. And one thing that I was vacationing there with family and friends, but my, my family uh, accommodates me when, when I want to, to take some photo. And I, I'm always on the lookout for, for something unusual. Uh, and one thing I um, I always consider is uh, uh, astronomical phenomena, and because that might pose might might suggest some interest, interesting shots. And one interesting astronomical phenomenon that happens every month is a full moon. Yeah, and not many people know that uh, the best time and day to shoot the full moon is actually the day before the full moon when the, the moon is rising because oh, then is the the moon is very bright as you know and yes. if the moon is very bright and is high in the sky like the full moon you get you can get a nicely exposed moon and a sky that is completely black yes and if the moon is near the ground the ground will be completely black so you can get a nice photo of the moon alone it's not very interesting Right. Yeah. So yeah. I always try to uh, get the moon and some foreground interest. And Definitely. there is basically one moment. Well, there's actually two moments when you can do that. And one is on when the full moon is rising on the day, typically on the day before the full moon, uh, because then it will be the time when the, the moon is low on the horizon, but there is still the sun has just set. Yeah. So the balance of light between the, the ground, the sky, and the moon is such that you, the camera will not have too much of a dynamic range to manage. Yep. Mm, uh, the other moment is a moonset on the same on the day after. Um, now the problem is that the moonset on the full moon happens in the early morning. 
So it's your choice. You stay up till sunset to catch the moon rising, and that's easy, or you get up very early in the morning to catch the moon setting. <laughs> so, <laughs> the moon rising. Anyway, uh, I was there and I looked at the calendar and I said, oh, there's a full moon tonight. Uh, what can I do? What, what kind of foreground interest I can, uh, I can use in this case? So I was uh, on the beach and there was this beautiful, maybe you can show uh, the image where you see the island from above in the middle of the harbor. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So I, I did some scouting. I was on a scooter. I drove around. I went up to a village on the hill, and I saw that. And I, I when I do this, I typically use uh, uh, an app for my phone or tablet, which is called the Photographer Ephemeris. Love that and app. You should be able to to see a screenshot of that, which yeah. will tell you exactly the times and the directions of moonrise, moonset, sunrise, and sunset, and so on. So I was there and I said, well, the moon is going to rise from straight east, 90 degrees. And where can I put myself so that the moon rises to the east and I have something like that island in front of it so I can get that kind of image? Here's the spot. The map tells me where. So I went there and what was there? It was a nice Greek restaurant with an <laughs> open air veranda <laughs> where you can just... <laughs> So I went to my family and said, tonight we are going to eat at that restaurant. Uh, <laughs> I, lo I love that. I love that. I'm going to start using that one. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're going over here to have a picnic. Yeah. Picnic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we went there. We, me and my friend put our tripods down just outside the restaurant. We were dining outside so we could see them. Nobody could steal them, the cameras and so on. And we started dining, and the food was great, so everybody was happy. And we had our <laughs> tripods there, and people were passing by and were looking at our tripods and said, what are those guys shooting? There's nothing there. And then the moon came up. <laughs> <laughs> and you saw people with the cell phones trying to get a good picture, but we, we were prepared. So I think that the moral of the story is uh, to prepare yourself and... Uh, exploit the, those kind of situations because it's uh without without much effort you can really get a a good a good chance to uh to a unusual shot definitely just that doesn't right and much. i i think the moral of the story is to to book into a really good restaurant and actually do it in style when you photograph <laughs> A uh, landscape, you don't need to be out in the weather and really yes, freezing it. to death. You can actually go to a good restaurant and have some. So, uh, if you do wine. your field work well, you can actually photograph from a restaurant. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't say, I didn't check the reviews of the local restaurants. I just, let's hope the food is good here. <laughs> that was my... Oh, that's great. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for that. That's, uh, that's amazing. And it's such a great result, too, there with, that, with the moon coming up right on that right in the perfect place in that yeah. island that's it's amazing and i like that other point of view on the island is that a church or what is that yeah, on the left small, this is a small chapel on the island okay and one nice thing that we didn't know is that at night they uh, turn on those lights on the island so it's ah, all lit up yeah. with uh, with those colors oh, that's, that's an added cool. bonus that i didn't expect but was uh, ah. Beautiful. And yeah. Uga, what, what lens did you shoot that on? It looks like quite a, um, like a bit of a telephoto uh, lens. Yes, that was my 55 to 200 zoom lens. And that was on a crop sensor. So probably the focal length was equivalent to about 300 millimeters. Okay. You, need a, you need a long lens to, to get a big enough moon in your shot. Yes. Otherwise, it would be a small dot. <laughs> and then um, and then, what kind of shutter speed do you shoot that at? Because the moon does move pretty fast, doesn't it? The moon does move pretty fast. Uh, that was, uh, I would have to to check the, but uh, no, no more than one fiftieth of a second. Oh, really? Okay, okay that's pretty fast. fast. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, awesome, man. Well, that's great. Thanks for thanks for sharing that. Um, now, buddy, uh, is, where is the best place to people to find you? And and you've got some interesting stuff coming up this year. I heard as well some workshops. So, Tell us um, about that. My, my central hub where you can find everything about me is the 
the one you see below here. That's www.ucphoto.me. That's my main portfolio website. From there, you find links to my blog where uh, I keep it updated quite frequently. I post something, uh, not every day, but uh, maybe twice a week or so. Um, and you can find me online, all the social networks, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, and everything. Just just search for my name. Okay. Um, uh, you were mentioning uh, uh, something that I've got coming up this year. Uh, and just that just was started on that day. We were on that island at that restaurant looking at the moon oh, really? uh, with oh, my friend right. there. yeah and my friend who was there with me is a great uh expert about everything in greece he's been to okay. greece like 12 times uh and so i said okay and, he, and he's a passionate photographer too so we said we should combine our love for photography my love for teaching and your love of Greece and Mediterranean locations in general, and start showing people uh, things like that. How do you get this kind of shot? How do you get, yeah. uh, beside your typical vacation snapshots, you get you want to get something more. Mm. So I said we should start offering workshops, photography workshops, which are more than photography workshop. It's a, a vacation slash workshop where we offer accommodation and, and food, we select the best hotels, the best locations, and then we bring people to those places. Maybe we try to see what the uh, the, the moon will be or where the sun will set and so on and suggest uh, and bring people to those locations and show them how to get the best shots. So we, we started this uh, enterprise. It's called Mediterranean Photo Tours. Uh, you can find us at www.mediterraneanphototours.com. Awesome. And we started offering um, a week-long workshop this September uh, in the Greek islands, Santorini and Milos. And there's one little thing about that. Uh, on one of the days of the workshop, uh, there will be a total eclipse of the moon. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So we're planning to do a moon set that the moon will be setting. The full moon yeah. will be setting and it will be eclipsed, so you will get that nice red moon setting into the sea. Might be a bit hard to for people to do it because the moon is going to set at around 5.30 a.m. But if you really uh, want to, <laughs> to get something unique, then you should definitely consider uh, that opportunity. Well, that's great, mate. Thank you so much for being on the show. We really appreciate it. And some awesome stories there and images yeah. behind the stories. So yeah. that's that's great. Well, that's awesome. Thank you for having me. It's been and a that, pleasure. Thank you very you. much. And and so with the uh, photo tour that you're taking, is it all inclusive? So do people just tell you that they want to go and then you book the hotel and the, uh, yes. you know, all that stuff? Okay. Yes, essentially, yes. Right. It's the full package we, we offer. Uh, aside from uh, transport to there, yeah. Yes. So this one, uh, this one is in starting in Santorini. So you you need to get there, okay, uh, by your own means. And once you are there, you get uh, hotel, four star hotel accommodation, uh, photography nice. education, local transport, uh, uh, yeah. dinners, and and so Perfect. on. Uh, it sounds like uh, maybe I need a book in. <laughs> How much deposit do you need, Hugo? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can find all the information on. Okay, well, on, yeah. yeah. All right. Awesome. So it's actually, uh, I don't know, when, when are you planning to broadcast this? In two, in about a week or two. Yeah, about that two weeks. This yeah, will be live, so yeah. Okay, so uh, that's the thing. We have, uh, the, the price of the workshop will be uh, 2,000 euros. Uh, it's a European thing, so it's euro you can yeah. translate. To nowadays, it's very cheap for Americans because the dollar is so yeah, higher exactly. with respect to the euro. <laughs> but yeah. uh, we are offering a 300 euro discount until the end of the month. Okay. 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 But so that's, so that's, that, that's the month of April. Okay. Okay. Right. So if this goes yeah. goes online after that, yeah, uh, we can still arrange something for your viewers. So okay. let's let's pick oh, up wow. a discount code. And for people who use that discount code to uh, to register for the workshop, we'll offer, uh, let's say, um, uh, the same discount, 300 euros yep. okay. for people coming. Well, 
We'll, we'll put a link in the show notes to your to the website yep. with the discount code. We will. Thanks so much for that. That's okay. awesome, guys. Yeah. Just for our viewers. Yeah. Awesome. All right, buddy. Thanks for being on the show. It's been awesome to have you here. And um, yeah, I've had had a great time. Yeah. Guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Talk no, to you're later. welcome. Thanks for having me. See you soon. Bye bye. 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 Yeah. Oh man. Love Hugo. Yeah, he was fun, man. Uh, some great tips there, huh? And you know what? I never knew about that uh, algorithm, the script he calls it in Photoshop. Yeah, Whereas, it's a, um, what's it, the average or the yeah, median? Yeah, like a medium. Statistic. Yeah, statistic. That's yeah, weird. It's pretty no, cool for, for getting, <laughs> getting people out of the frame. Right? I know. Yeah, and then good. just uh, touching up with a bit of uh, masking. Yeah, as well. yeah that's no, great. Awesome, man. These are exciting guys. Got some good stuff coming up. And his show, State of Mirrorless. Yeah, it's a mm. fun show. Yeah, yeah guys, check it out. Mirrorless cameras. Yeah, all the links are in the show notes to his website, the State of Mirrorless, and uh, his workshops that are coming up, which, yeah. I'll, which I was going. I think I might go to his workshop <laughs> in, in uh, <laughs> Greece. It's, oh, it should be good. Man, yeah. be and I love that moonrise just beyond the, the, yeah. the um, island. Yeah, epic tips. Yeah. And the fact that he, he, <laughs> he made it so he could sit in a restaurant and know. shoot and get set up that. and just nip out and press the shutter when it comes Drinking some wine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> epic, man. Awesome. It's been another great show, buddy. Yeah, yeah great show, fun. guys. And, and thanks for watching. Yeah, leave us comments and make sure you jump into the Sharing Spy Create Lounge. We're yeah. in there every single day. That's all right. Check out the epic deal we have for you here and uh, in the show notes. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. See you later. Bye. Bye. To find out more, go to shareinspirecreate.com.